assalamu alaikum students i hope everyone is sound and safe and are having a great time with your family today we are going to discuss a really interesting short story which is the 1 million pound banknote and it's written by mark twain this short story is about henry adams and he is sharing his life experiences with us let's have a look at the titles first The title is really important in the story as there were only 2 million pounds bank notes that were ever created in the story and one note had been used for some giant business deals and the other one is still there for a stranger the unusual thing about this note is that nobody in the story has a change of the bank note let's have an overview of the story Our first and the main character is Henry Adams he is also the narrator of the story narrator means the person who tells the story so he is a 27 years old man and works as a clerk in San Francisco which is a city in California he is also alone in the world alone means he is having no family and no friends and here comes the two brothers brother A and brother B these are the two wealthy brothers in the story and they hold bank note of 2 millions that were ever created and these are also the unusual brothers and how they are unusual because they are looking for an honest and an intelligent stranger and they are also having a dispute over a fate of a stranger dispute means the argument here is a conflict in the story here two brothers are having a dispute or we can say the argument about a matter and the matter was about the 1 million pound banknote that they want to hand over to a stranger Both brothers are having an argument that what the stranger is going to do with the banknote. They are giving this banknote for only 30 days. Both brothers are having their own opinion and brother A says that the stranger would starve to death because he couldn't offer it at a bank or anywhere else because he would be arrested on the spot. And brother B says that the man would live 30 days on that million and keep out of jail too. Brother B and this argument on a bet and there is another name of bet which is wager so brother b bet 20000 pounds to solve this dispute now we have to see that what the stranger is going to do with the million pounds and who wins the bet so for your easiness i have divided this chapter in three parts and the first part is san francisco to london in this part we are going to observe that how the stranger has arrived in london So in the beginning there is a little information little information about the main character which is Henry Adams he is 27 years old clerk in San Francisco which is a city in California he is also alone in the world as he is not having any family and not friend on saturday afternoons he sail his little boats on San Francisco bay and the other name for bay is gulf sailing boat is his habitual action One day he sailed out too far and rescued by a London bound brig and he also spent some times in the London bound brig so that's how he reached London and when he reached London he was wearing old and shabby clothes shabby means dirty and he was also having not food to eat he was hungry for food as he was hungry for food so he expressed his feelings in the story in this way I was getting desperate enough to brave all the shame and to seize it as he saw the child who was eating a pear and he wanted to grab that piece of pear which was thrown by the child and he didn't want to care about the world as he was desperate to have food so he decides to get the pear and not to worry about the people around him even if it's cost his self respect he was least bother about that because he was hungry that is why he has used his words over here which is to brave all the shame he was willing to brave all the shame and he just wanted to grab that piece of pear because he was too much hungry so here are some difficult vocabulary words of page 160 to 161 and you all are supposed to write them down in in your textbook for the better understanding of the text so here comes the part 2 which is an unusual bet and the letter in this part the two brothers are having dispute or we can say argument 
about a stranger and they have settled the matter on a bet which is wager so after the dispute brother b prepares a letter a letter for the stranger in which he tells about the bet and the reason of giving 1 million pound for 30 days in the letter he also tells that at the end of 30 days he has to return to his house he also says that if he wins the bet he will give him any job with any salary he wants so after preparing a letter they both sat by the window and wait for the right man for the bet and for them the right man is a person who is an honest and an intelligent stranger so here we can see the societal difference as well where one person is looking for food whereas the other people are giving million pounds only for fun so here comes our main character which is henry adams who is wearing old and shabby clothes so for the brothers henry adam is the right person for the bet so both brothers give him a letter and and quite far from their house he opens an envelope and founds money so when he found money in an envelope he went straight to the nearest place for eating and when he has to pay the bill he found that the worth of the money is million pounds as he had to pay the bill so he asked the owner for the change but the owner was shocked as he wasn't having the change of such a huge amount so the owner says that he can wait for him and he also offer him that pay whenever you want rich gentleman and eat all you want so from the eating place henry adams hurried to the house of gentleman but they were gone and then he reads a letter about a bet and a promise of a good job and salary and now he is just standing there and thinking what to do now like if he goes to the bank they will definitely ask questions like fr like from where did he get such a huge amount and if he goes to the police station they will put him in asylum asylum means shelter or a safe place if he tells the truth and in case of telling a lie he will be ended up in jail and if he keeps it with him and wait for the whole month he will be given a good job with a good salary so he decides to keep it for a month for a big salary and good job and he also decides to help the big brother be win the bet part 3 is about the tailor's shop and the poor millionaire in this part we will see that how the behavior of the people around him has changed towards him